Greetings, everyone. I only have a short time before it starts downpouring. So, uh, well, I did some digging in the front of the car. Mostly because the uh, plastic panels started popping themselves off or coming loose. So I figured as long as they were loose, why not do some investigating? Now, the reason they came loose is Tesla used these little adhesive stick-on plastic plastic things here and apparently they don't stick too well that one's on there good this one's peeling off again this one did pop down but then I pressed it on real hard and it stayed on And a uh, similar story on the other side here, but these I pressed back on, and that, that, that one came up, came back off. So anyways, yeah, that's why those were coming loose. Um, I popped that panel off myself. That one wasn't, you know, wasn't having any issues. And then I took the uh, little nose piece off. Uh, yeah, that, and they're using also Velcro. Um, I have to say it's a pretty creative way to uh, put uh, these plastic panels on. Uh, somehow I have tree sap underneath that plastic panel, which I don't know how it would get under a plastic panel, especially when it doesn't look like it flowed from anywhere. That was sharp. Ow. But, uh, yeah, they're, they do use a bit of... Velcro. Uh, there's, there's other spots in the car, but um, this bit. Uh, there's the Velcro. It kind of Velcro came off the adhesive, left the adhesive on the panel. Which, as long as you don't go yanking on it, that one's not going anywhere. Uh, I decided to measure the uh, voltage at the battery. Uh, well, this is um, that's where the uh, two battery terminals are located. Uh, there's no cap or anything on here. Not that there should be any metal touching it, but uh, the positive terminal does not have a cap. Never seen a car or motorcycle that didn't have a cap on a positive terminal. But what do I know? Uh, we're at 14.1 volts with uh, the car in quote unquote off mode. Measured at the turn, uh, yeah, about 14.1. Um, so yeah. But I'm sure you guys are dying to see a little bit on the inside here. Let's see, is the light on? Uh, these nose cones don't appear to just pop off anymore. I think they might have made maybe a design change, but I don't feel like breaking anything. But the uh, terminals are there. The uh, That piece just popped right off, no problem. Uh, there's your horn. So there is plenty of room under here for a larger horn if you so desire. I am anticipating installing a uh, diesel locomotive horn on this bugger. Uh, oh, just checking voltages again. For you, not too much to see. I'm doing the best I can here, so no complaining. This is an iPhone that wasn't meant to be shoved inside tracks of cars.
someday when I have more time, I will start digging in. Actually, take that front piece off, and I'll remove the uh, the front too. But today, with a looming thunderstorm coming, that's not going to happen. There's access to your headlights. Now, they do have these little portions here. Uh, there's no light or plug into them. Uh, looks like that might be for the accent lighting, maybe. There are also these little units. Now, this side. See, on the right side of that module, there's there's uh, the white plug. Nothing plugged into it. Let's see if we can see what... Tip the camera there. The label on it's water washed off. Fan control module. And that's because right there is one of the fans. Same thing on this side. So I'm guessing that's another fan control module because, oh, there's another fan. Now, come up here a little bit. I got a uh, firefighter cut this wire. Oh, looky down there. I got shocks. Cross members. Air conditioning. And we've got reservoirs. Now remember Tesla says do not touch your fluid reservoirs. If they are low, call them. Despite being dot three and apparently 50-50 coolant. Um, my coolant level is above the max level. Uh, and adding any fluids to the car whatsoever uh, supposedly voids your warranty, despite even also having a sticker saying to clean your cap before adding liquid to prevent contamination. And of course, your windshield washer fluid. There are your fuse boxes. There's two of them. There's a whole bunch of other fun nice stuff under there and right there is your cabin air filter filter the outside air uh, the panels themselves came off rather well obviously the two came off very easy uh, everything just kind of snaps right in um, I don't know how much trouble I'm going to have putting them back in but uh, right now is about time to do that uh, let's see what our well, these are real quick again on that 12 volt battery. I figure if the uh, 12 volt socket inside the car is car controlled by the car, you know, shuts off, turns on, uh, why not see what it is at the point where it's supposedly directly connected to the battery? Apparently, we're still charging the battery. Fourteen point two five, and I have not found exactly where that battery is as of yet. So, working on that. No, oh. anything going out today? Nope. Nope. All right. There you Thank go. you much. You're Have a great day. Just got my mail. Ooh, I wonder what I got. Junk mail, junk mail, casino. Ooh, casino. Free money. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's see. That covers that. Uh, like I said, one of these days when I have time, I will pull the frunk out and show what's underneath it. I just do not have time today. So, uh, I, yes, I, I promise we got, uh, I printed out the sheets 
Oh, where is it? Um, I printed out my uh, in quote unquote invoice slash service work for, work order form uh, from Tesla from when this was in for service. I will if it's not raining this afternoon. I'm going to try and get that video done. Show you guys what they all fixed and uh, what kind of small issues I've had pop up. Nothing major yet. Again, but I've had some more small issues pop up. Uh, so that's it. See you in the next video.